Hello, my name is Michelle Tao Nguyen, and I will be presenting with Monica Desai. We are both undergraduate researchers at the University of California, Irvine Emergency Department. We have included all the research personnel who are on the study below. Today, we will be presenting on the use of point of care ultrasound in the diagnosis of necrotizing fasciitis. So let's review necrotizing fasciitis. Necrotizing fasciitis is a severe, life-threatening soft tissue infection. It spreads quickly, so prompt diagnosis and surgical intervention are necessary. If this does not happen, negative health outcomes, such as limb amputation or death, can occur. Currently, the gold standard for diagnosing necrotizing fasciitis is through surgical expiration, and advanced diagnostic imaging is used to aid in diagnosis. Currently, CT is the gold standard for diagnostic imaging. Why are we looking for an alternative to CT? CT exposes the patient to excess radiation, is expensive, and takes a long time to complete. This time manifests itself either as wait time, as the patient waits for the CT to become unoccupied, or as time spent on the logistics of patient transportation and patient metrics. Point of care ultrasound, on the other hand, does not expose the patient to radiation, is cheaper than CT, and is a portable bedside diagnostic tool. This means that the machine can be taken to the patient's bedside, getting rid of wait times and logistical complications, and decreasing the time to diagnose and use surgical intervention. The objective of this study is to determine if point of care ultrasound can be used in an emergency department setting to accurately diagnose necrotizing fasciitis. In order to diagnose necrotizing fasciitis from an ultrasound clip, our ultrasound fellowship trained physicians use the STAF exam. STAF stands for subcutaneous thickening air and fascial fluid, which is what the physician looks for in an ultrasound of the infected area. So what does the staff exam look like in practice? Here you can see three ultrasounds, one of a normal soft tissue, one of cellulitis, and one of necrotizing fasciitis. As you can see, the normal soft tissue ultrasound has relatively uniform layers of tissue. I have also included a cellulitis ultrasound as this is usually the diagnosis in our non-necrotizing enrollments. Cellulitis differs from both normal and necrotizing fasciitis ultrasounds due to its cobblestone appearance, circled in yellow. The necrotizing fasciitis ultrasound differs from normal and cellulitis ultrasounds as there is subcutaneous thickening circled in green on the top and air bubbles in the middle circled in red. Hi, my name is Monica Desai and I'll be presenting on the methods, results, and conclusion. So this study is currently being conducted at the UC Irvine Medical Center Emergency Department. Undergraduate research associates screen for and consent patients that are 18 years of age or older and English or Spanish speaking. They must also have a soft tissue infection and be receiving a CT scan or surgical consult for the infection as part of their care. Next, an emergency physician rates their suspicion of the infection being necrotizing fasciitis and takes an ultrasound of the infected area. The ultrasound clip is then analyzed using the staff exam mentioned earlier by an ultrasound fellowship trained emergency physician who is blind to the patient's final diagnosis. Finally, the ultrasound fellowship trained physician's conclusions are compared to the patient's final diagnosis obtained through either CT or surgical exploration. So far, we have 63 patients enrolled in the study, six of which had true necrotizing fasciitis. All six of these cases were diagnosed perioperatively and all six ultrasound clips were interpreted as concerning for necrotizing fasciitis. There were also two cases of the 63 that had both a CT scan and ultrasound clip interpreted as concerning for necrotizing fasciitis, but were later diagnosed as a non-necrotizing infection following surgical exploration. One case had a CT scan and ultrasound interpreted as not concerning for necrotizing fasciitis, but the ultrasound was interpreted to be positive. 
we have a total of 53 patients with ultrasound clips interpreted as not concerning for necrotizing fasciitis. 26 of these cases were diagnosed with non-necrotizing infections perioperatively, while the other 27 were diagnosed using CT scan. Some limitations of the study include that participants were only recruited between 8 a.m. and 12 a.m. as research associates were only available during these times. Also, the sample was only collected from a single site, the UC Irvine Medical Center Emergency Department. Finally, a larger sample size can further validate our findings. In conclusion, our data suggests that point-of-care ultrasound can be used to aid in the diagnosis of necrotizing fasciitis. So far, our results indicate 94.6% specificity and 100% sensitivity of ultrasound when diagnosing soft tissue infections. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to this presentation and thank you to the UC Irvine Emergency Department and ultrasound team for this study.